Hey, what is up YouTube? This is my quick uh, look at um, Kogan Agora Smart TV. So this is one of the newer ones. It's 47 inch, Full HD 1080p, runs Android 4.2, Jelly Bean. So um, I got this two days ago. Had a little bit of time to um, go through the menus and UI and look at the apps. So um, pretty much at the first look, you can see that it is a giant Android tablet. So I've hooked up my um, Android wireless keyboard, which just helps you to easily navigate through the icons and menus and everything so this is the home screen main home screen and you've got one two three and four other screens too. so I'll go back to the main home screen so this is a smart TV interface and up top you have a plus button okay we cannot add or edit or delete anything on this main home screen on this screen I've added a few downloaded and installed few apps directly from the Play Store it's just like how you use your laptop I'm sorry your tablet login go to the Play Store download and install your apps and here you have the plus button you can add apps, widgets, folders or shortcuts so you have all your apps that's in the TV so if I want to select Facebook you can select Google Music nothing, I already have it people alright so it's there and if you have to delete your apps just hold them down and remove just like how you use a tablet okay and the next one here is the app drawer so I only have one page of apps installed now I'll go back to the home screen just press the home button you have a home button on your wireless keyboard and home button on your regular remote control that takes you back home this helps you change your wallpapers I've just changed the wallpaper I'll change to another one just for you guys to see alright there you go and that's the search box takes you to Google search go back home and in the settings okay so network so you can connect uh, Ethernet cable directly, there is an Ethernet port. If you choose wireless, easy to set up. I've got all this wireless network, just type in the password, just connects, and it's good to go. And it's system, so just initial setup stuff. You've got a default Android keyboard, and the system info here is to main thing this actually looks pretty good on paper and as you can see it has a dual core CPU that's Cortex A9 I think it's 1.2 gigahertz and a quad core GPU that is Mali 400 I think it seems like um specs for a for Galaxy Nexus I'm not sure and the RAM size of 3.2 gigs and memory card I think it's telling us about the how much you can expand it up to. I have a four gig memory card in it, so it's a memory card slot. That's an uh, advantage, and runs Android four dot two point two dot one. So that's Jelly Bean and TV version. That's the custom skin thing. So one point zero point two three and panel resolution nineteen twenty by ten eighty, and some other numbers. There is an option for software upgrade, it says upgrade by USB, I don't know, maybe you have to plug it into uh, something to upgrade. 
and there is a recent bu reset button if you stuff up you could reset and go back to the factory settings and so energy saving settings time settings very easy and storage so inbuilt storage of 2.4 gigabytes and there is an option for SD card so I have my 4 gig SD card it's micro SD and you could choose where you want to install your app apps okay let's go back home and uh, if you want to download and install third-party apps other than the ones from the Play Store, you actually have an app assistant. So once you download the apps, you can go to Downloads and see your downloaded softwares. Got no downloads now. Or you could go to App Assistant. And all your I've downloaded Flash and it just helps you install and uninstall the apps you have the third party apps you have installed and uninstall install to to uninstall well, sorry about that okay. go back that's the TV thing I mean that's the thing I hate about this LCDs and LED because you can see all these white patches so I've reduced the backlight to zero. If it's a bit high, it just shows up, and it's I don't know. That's the only thing I hate about this TV. And I had a look. I had an in uh, check with the other guys, and then and I found out it's uh, it's the case with almost all all of the LEDs and um, it's just you get lucky if you you're just lucky if you don't have uh, this issue and you could take you to the TV menu I'll put this down and the sound you can switch the sound mode from movie sport and there is a user mode that you could adjust the equalizer just the way you want it. Let's go back. All right. And next is image. And you could, you can use any of the preset modes. There is a user mode that lets you adjust brightness, contrast, color aspect ratio that's for 4 is to 3 or 16 is to 9 panorama dot by dot I don't know what that is set the color temperature and backlight I've reduced it to zero if I pump it up you can see those cloudy stuff at the corners that's backlight leak reduce it to zero it doesn't affect my picture quality there so I'm not bothered and program that's your TV set of information and you could select the input source if you can plug in HDMI you have four HDMI ports a VGA port you can plug in your computer and just use it as your second display and stuff like that you know what and there is a 3D option this is a passive 3D they've got 3D glasses I've never tried it I'll try it soon. Go back and the function. I have no idea what this is, so I'll just skip this. There is a reset option there too, and time. You could set the time and time zone and everything. So that's about it with the TV menus and settings and stuff. So let's go back to the smart TV. UI and one thing I like about this is home share option so you could search for devices that's connected to the same home network and it just shows up and you can 
share files and things like that so just create it takes a while to scan okay yeah there is and you have a file manager if you have hooked up a USB or you could plug in an external hard drive and it just shows up there and you could open it up and view files and downloads and and movies and everything okay let's get the file manager and it plays uh, almost all video formats pretty much MPEG, AVI, XVID, MP4 no issues with those I'll just um, play one YouTube video for you guys let's um, I'll select one of the 4K videos I'm gonna actually lag or stutter a bit when you're playing a 4K video but uh, this will give you guys uh, an idea about the display, the contrast and everything so I tried updating the YouTube app and it actually stuffs it up it doesn't cannot update the app for some reason so I'm gonna ring technical support and find out why I'll skip the ad and it's an HD Maximize. Uh, let display. I think it's a decent display for around $700 mark and you can see it's fast just a little bit of lag that's acceptable but it's just there is a little stutter there I can't complain, it's a 4K, at least 1080p. Video that's playing. Alright, I'll go back and play a music video. That's the Android keyboard that we all are family of it. It just makes it easy to type what you um let's go back to the home screen. Oh yep, yeah, that's the task manager. So it's easy, there are three buttons on the Android wireless keyboard. You can hold it down and close the recent apps one by one. Or you could use the task killer to kill all of them. okay and the browser you've got the standard Android browser Twitter, Facebook bookmark widget okay uh, Google Music Skype then you can actually hook up um, webcam with this one but uh, I don't I think you can. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. This is actually not a review, I'm not a tech expert, it's just to give you guys a feel if you're looking to buy a Kogan Agora Smart TV, that's how the TV looks. I have a video about 
a quick walk around video of the same TV. It looks pretty good for a $700 TV. The interface is kind of smooth. It's alright. I've seen similar TVs at the $700 price point. LG and Samsung. There is a lot of lag. A lot of other issues too. But it's just a interface that we used to and it just runs Android. So if you ask me if I'm happy with the purchase, I'm happy except for the little cloudy thing. I think I'll give the Kogan Tech Support a call and see if it can be fixed or they can replace the panel for me or I have a five year warranty with it so if it gets any worse I can get it replaced. So if you guys enjoyed this video just let me know, thumbs up, comment. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, see you guys later, peace.